hey guys welcome to our channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to build an app in filter flow so simply in order to do this just you have to go to filterflow.io simply just you can search this website from Google or simply you can go to filterflow.io so this is a website after that first of all we want to create account if you have already account you can easily go through sign in so simply click on start for free so first of all we will sign up and create our account so when you click on start for free you will move to next page and just wait here our page is being uploaded so after that here you can see you can sign up through your apple account chat hub google and microsoft account so this is the main interface of filter flow so simply just click on continue with google because i already log into google account you can also put your email and password here or simply you can go to create account so this option is currently unavailable so simply just type your name here uh, and after that just type your email here and type your password so again type your password here and after that click on create an account so now here you can see finally our account is created and now here you can see this is the main dashboard of filter flow so now here what you need to do just if you want to create an application so simply just as uh, you can see on the left side all options available like if you want to add the text simply drag the text here and simply type the text value here hello world just you can change it So currently <clears throat> I will add also column here simply just drag the column here simply click on add column so in this way you can add a column and next you can see the row option so simply just you can also add the row option here so now after this you can see the containers so you can also add the containers here so simply in the next you can upload image here now as you can see the buttons so simply add the button here so you can also add it this button so whenever you have to move any section here simply just you select the section and here you can customize the section like I have selected the button here so here you can see the conditional visibility responsive visibility padding alignment lock expansion horizontal alignment so here you can change it vertical alignment so text so here you can edit the text subtitle front family weight here you can change the color and also change the front height text line here you can set the text line so after that here you can also set all the options like border how you want to adjust it so now after that just here you can see the card option so simply you can add the card here so just after that here you can see the list view so you can add the list view here so here you can see the grid view if you want to add the grid view here so simply you can add the grid view here after that you can see the spacer option so add the spacer option here so simply after that you can find the divider so divider used to divide two sections so you can also add the divider here so in the next 
you can see the tab bar so just simply put the tab bar here so here you can add the tab bar after that here you can see the page view option so you can also add this and in the next wrap option form if you want to add the form simply drag the form here and now after this here you can see the staggered view simply you can also drag it here and here you can change the settings so it's depend upon you how much item you want to add here in your application like how much elements you want to add so after that here you can see the base elements so simply here you can see the text so you can also add the text here here you can see the image option so drag the image option here here you can see the circle image if you want to add the circle image you can also add here so here you can set the icon and you can also change the icon here so now if you want to make a duplicate of anything simply you can also cut copy paste and duplicate it so now after that here you can also add the button now here you can also add the icon button in your application now again here you can see if you want to add a video player you can also add the video player here. now in the next youtube player so if you want to add the youtube player section in your uh, application simply just drag it here so now after that just again you have to click on you, these three dots and here you can set the pages like if you want to set a home page column button icon so click here to home page and here you can also add the define api call so here you can also add the documents simply here now again go to back to elements so simply after that as you can see you can also add all the elements like uh, you can also add the web view add banner you can also add the map google map like simply drag the google map here so after this you can also add the chart and you can also add the pin code if you want to make uh, a pin code in your application like if someone sign up or sign it so if he need to create a pin so simply in order in order to do this you have to add a pin option here add in the next here you can see the page element like if you want to some uh, thing on your page like fax drawer and and drawer nav bar so simply you can select and drag it here so these are the page elements and further these are the form elements so as you can see text field drop down radio button slider rating bar so all the options available here so simply now it's depend upon you how you want to customize your application and how much element that you want to add here so here you can see change the page title so here you can also change the page title here you can also add the new page style and color so here you can see finally if you want to add the widget simply you can click on widget and here you can add the widgets so simply just scroll down and here you can see that what kind of item and element you have added it will be shown here so after that here you can see the file store option so if you have anything stored in your application project like name image url images videos it will be available here so now after that here you can see the local state so here you can check the local state options now here api call option 
and now here project media so here you can upload the main media of your application project simply click on upload media and upload from your computer so now here you can also edit these option in and in the settings you can also edit all the settings there like how my title you have added here you can easily edit from settings so now again we will go back to website and here you can see finally our app is created so now this is the demonstration video so you can create app according to your choice and after that when you created app simply you can buy a premium package and upload it on your different stores so this is the easy way to create